before we get into this video please make sure to like and subscribe thank you very much all right so let's take a look at some ito cup action that happened during the weekend this is the round of 64 and we're gonna start with scnie fc taking on aqua united as we say round of 64 here we go here are the goals of the match first we have james ajako getting a cross in Ubon friday flicks it on and it goes into the back of the net beautiful finish by the captain of the side as you see the free kick taken short for james ajako he puts it in the area and Ubon friday with the flick and it gets past the goalkeeper who was lost in the sauce right there beating the snare post and you can't really blame him because it was just a nice one when you slow it down you see it and that's right there the first goal of the match second goal of the match still scored by quite united babatunde bello with the ball forward david onovo with the cross in the area a defender gets ahead on it uban friday cushions it off and samuel amadi puts it into the back of the net second goal of the match and first goal for samuel amadi in a long time as you see getting that x off him right there the cross by david onovo defender gets the head on it uban friday with the cushion head and Samuel Almighty, a nice finish with the left foot right there. And we move the third goal of the game. Samuel Almighty, the assist of this time. Austin Osayande finishes it off. And that's the third goal, 3-0 in favor of Aqua United. As you see, just on the plate right there. Austin Osayande, just one job. And that's how the match ended. Three goals to nil in favor of Aqua United. They move on to the next round of the competition. And next, we have Niger Tornado Feeders against Kano Pillars. Oh, my goodness. What was that defender doing right there? Just left behind like the rapture. And that's the first goal of the match scored by Niger Tornadoes feeders. Not Niger Tornadoes, the originals. This is their feeder team. And they're doing pretty good against Kano Pillars right there. As we know, Kano Pillars relegated from the MPFL. Now in the NNL. And Kano Pillars making a way back into the match. And you see this pass over the top. And it reaches Anyeka Me Okon, who pushes it forward and finds God's power in their field, who gets the first goal of the game for Kano Pillars. As you see right there, puts it into the back of the net. And that's the first goal. Makes the score one all right there. As you see the ball over the top and Nyeke Meokon Pereira plays for the under 20 team I believe that was 2019 gets the assist to Gus Power and Nyefield both players former Aqua United players and this right here is the moment of the match the second goal for Kano Pillars was actually a penalty called and not in a million years the guy headed the ball into his hand that's definitely not a penalty but the referee said it was and they had to go by that he had the nerve to hold his hands out like that's why it was a penalty that's not a penalty bro wrong call referee you just gotta raise your hand up and admit that that was wrong at the end of the day but it was taken by the man the myth the legend himself Robbie Ali puts the ball into the back of the net and that gave Kano Pillars the 2-1 lead and that's really how the match ended but I like this moment right here the player feeling bad for himself Robbie Ali calms everybody down picks them up and it's all over that's Robbie Ali you just got to go with it right there and we move Remo starts taking on PCM FC and PCM FC means positive change mentality FC first goal of the game was scored by Andy Okbe beautiful finish by him runs onto the ball gets past two defenders right there and slams it in with his left foot nice finish really kind of looks unorthodox whenever Andy Okwe does it but it is what it is this was the first goal and only goal of the match for PCMFC and that's not positive by the goalkeeper just horrible I mean you're going through issues about match fixing and you don't want to be doing things like that those gonna always raise the questions and this was the second goal of the game scored by Remo Stars actually the third goal of the game but the second goal for Remo Stars Andy Okwe gets the second goal his brace on the day and as you see the ball put in his path one time shot man this guy is picking up form as the season keeps going beautiful finish by Andy Okwe and this was the third goal for Remo Stars built up from the back ball over the top 
Samuel Anekwe runs onto it, pushes it forward, and gets the ball past the goalkeeper. I don't think the goalkeeper was anything but a design right there in front of the post on the game. And that was the third goal of the match score. Remo starts three, PCMFC one. And that's not real positive right there. But we move, and the fourth goal of the match for Remo Stars was scored by who else? Andy Okwe. He got his hat trick on the day. Again, a nice build up by Remo Stars. Ball set then, and he gets it on the left wing, pushes it all the way, and slams it past the goalkeeper. It's just an orthodox right there by Andy Okwe, but he gets the job done. Shout out to him for celebrating with the ball boys. And that's the fourth goal of the match. The score, Remo Stars. Starts four, PCM, positive change mentality, one. And that's a nice goal by Andy Okbe, as I said, hat trick for him. I think he was probably the only one who got a hat trick this week in the ITL Cup. Nice one right there, and that's how the match ended. And those are the highlights of the ITL Cup. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.